previously examined the group join here. So you can see the group join syntax can be quite confusing for newcomers. So let's try and understand how this actually works and what it's trying to do. So here we have a list of people. These people have pets. Some people will have more than one pet, such as Alice, while others will only have one pet. And of course, some will not have any pets. So how do you join this data together and show which people have pets and which don't? And you can use the join, group join method here. So this people is the outer join. So this what sits at, in the outer join and what it says is for Alice, go and find all the pets. So here, this is the inner join now. So if you imagine this is the outer, so that's the people and within people, you have pets. So for example, Alice has two pets, but Bob does him and inside him there is only one pet that he has and then on the outer layer he has charlie and inside there is nothing because he doesn't have any pets over here so this is the outer join so what it's going to do is loop through alice bob charlie individually so first it will loop through alice and then look to see if alice over here matches the own ID within the inner join here so the key is matched if it matches it puts that data here now this is something we have decided to call person pets but you can call it anything basically the group join method here its output in effect is person pets and you also need the person here because the person pets only takes data from the secondary inner join here so this is the inner layer in a box and it only takes the properties name and owner from there that's why then we pass that to a lambda operator and take the person's name and from the pets now notice here person pets we've decided to call it person pets but internally c sharp will create that new object for you and give it whichever name that you select here so this name is selected and then we from that we can extract the name of the pet and convert it to a list so for Alice, she will have two pets, so we convert that into a list. So I hope this clarifies what improves your understanding of this code. And as you can see, this is the output that we will get. So you can see here that Alice over here has two pets, Fluffy and Rec, Fobs called Gordy, while Charlie has no pets. So this has the effect of a left join, basically bring back all the people here. And then if they have any pets, show them pets as well.